Today we are going to talk about another stating protocol that I have recently joined and yes, I know I might be late to the game but with different money experiments running at the same time, cash flow is quite a challenge. But nonetheless, we'll go through today's video as well as show you the results I've gotten so far with this protocol. Hey guys, my name is Jordan and welcome to the channel. So over the last two weeks, the crypto market has taken a beating. And even though it was in a Christmas mood, I guess we will not be seeing Santa Claus giving any good gains in the next couple of days. But what would be good is by dropping a like for this video for the YouTube algorithm. So today we'll be talking about a coin that is growing really fast and is still growing as of recording. So this token is also in the YouTube portfolio where we have purchased $1,000 of crypto every single month on this channel. And if you haven't checked out that video, I'll leave it in the card above so that you can watch it right after this one and I'll leave it in the description as well. So the token that we're talking about today is Terra Luna or the ticker Luna. So to understand what Duquan, the founder of Terra, has built and why he built it, we need to understand why people are so against cryptocurrencies and why gaining mass adoption is really tough and it's an uphill climb. Remember the guy that bought a pizza with 10,000 bitcoins? He's probably hating himself right now because back then, $10,000 worth of bitcoin was only $20, but as of today, it's $450 million. So the problem here that many of us, even seasoned traders or investors, we view things in the physical world as dollars or fiat. We do not go to the supermarket to pay in ETH or BTC because it's slow, the price fluctuates and transaction fees can be pretty expensive. And because of this volatility, many merchants shy away from crypto because they might be on the losing end when it's time to do settlements at the end of the day or at the end of the shift. And as for consumers like us, we might be paying more than what we should or if we are lucky, we are earning money by buying things. So this is where Luna comes in. So Luna and Terra work hand in hand to create a financial system that keeps stable coins stable with an algorithm like how it will help if you guys drop a like for this video. So many investors use stable coins to keep their profits or to have them as cash flow to enter the deeps. But the key point here is how to keep stable coins stable. And to do that, there is three main mechanisms. So the first one that we have is fiat collateralized stable coins. So these stable coins are kept stable because they have backing with fiat kept somewhere in the vault. But this brings a problem of auditing like what Tether has faced in the past. So Tether has a circulating supply of $76 trillion, but no one has really seen that $76 trillion that Tether claims to have. But it is still the largest traded stable coin in the crypto space. Next, we have crypto collateralized stable coins. So these groups of stable coins are backed by on-chain assets held on a smart contract. And being decentralized in nature, it allows users to view the balance at any point of time. And lastly, we have algorithmic stable coins. And this is what Terra is built on. So Terra is built on a proof of stake consensus. And in simple terms, if you hold Terra or UST, you'll be getting more UST just like a savings account. But this raises a question of who is paying the holders of UST and how does it keep it stable if everyone just holds UST and continues earning UST? So Terra Stablecoin maintains a pack through a combination of corruption-resistant, decentralized Oracle system and open market arbitrage incentives. This balances the liquidity parity between the on-chain swaps mechanism and the off-chain liquidity of Luna and Terra Stablecoins. So Luna, which is the native staking and the governance token of Terra, is the mining power of the system. It absorbs the short-term volatility of the stablecoin pack and at the same time counter cyclic incentives to stakes. So in simple terms, just think of it as balancing a scale. Luna is your asset and UST is your liability. And we know that if your asset equals to the liability, it will give you a net zero effect, which means everything is balanced. So the Terra protocol is pretty simple. When the supply of UST goes up, Luna is then burnt to keep the supply down 
and when UST is down, Luna is minted to increase the supply and therefore keeping things in equilibrium. So in financial terms, this is called Sino Rich, which is what our financial systems use to keep the strength of our fiat currencies. So enough of the backstory and let's talk about how you can start earning some Luna by staking it and how you can earn UST at a 20% APY. So the first thing that you need to do is to install Terra Station. So Terra Station is a platform where you can start staking Luna for rewards like KRT, UST, and Luna. The APY that Luna is giving right now is roughly 8%, but as Luna increases value, this will increase your yield as well. So setting up the Terra Station is like opening a new wallet. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you guys can get linked to Terra Station and go to the right page. And because with cryptocurrencies being so hot these days, this can increase the chance of phishing sites which might steal your funds. So we'll head on to the computer and then um, that's where I'm going to start guiding you on how to set up your Terra Station. So on the Terra Station side, you're able to see quite a few things on the dashboard. So over here, it shows you the current price of Luna, um, the tax rate, the insurance, the community pool, the staking ratio. So um, the staking ratio basically refers to the amount of Luna being staked. Uh, right now, it's about 311 million Luna being staked on the platform itself, which is pretty healthy because when there is more Luna being staked, there is lesser in circulation and this will give a price increase because of the scarcity here. And right now, the staking returns is roughly 8.17% per year. Um, doing pretty okay. Yeah. At one point, it was at 200%, but that's long gone, but it's all right. Now we are getting about 8% 8, 8 a year, which is pretty healthy. So on the wallet page, um, to get this wallet, you have to download the Terra Station app either on your phone or you can just install it on the Google Chrome. So if you install it on Google Chrome, it will look like this. It shows you, it shows you your current wallet. Um, my wallet is called Terra. It's called Terra Whale, um, how much Luna you have, how much UST you have, and AUST. So we'll go through all this later as the video goes on. So over here, I already have Luna um, that I'm ready to stake. So we'll go to the stake column on the left panel. And over here, you're going to see quite a few things. So because I already have a delegator or delegation done, uh, I'm staking with these guys called Galactic Lounge. Um, these guys... They have a voting power of 1.12%. I'll go through that in a while. Self-delegation. So this is the details of a validator. So where do you see these validators? They are all located under the stick, uh, the stick panel. You're going to see validators here. And these are all the different information that you require for your validators. So Monica is basically the, the name of the validators that you're going to stick with. Uh, and then you have voting power. So voting power represents the amount of tokens that each of these validators have um, being staked for the whole network. So over here, you can look at Orion Money. These guys have a 7.9% um, ownership of the total number of tokens being staked. And I think these guys are currently the highest. And something to note here is that when a, vali when a validator has more than 51% of the network owned, they might be able to do malicious things like double spend and therefore it's wise to vote uh, to spread out your vote so that there is no one validator that owns the majority of the market and we have self-delegation here so self-delegation represents the number of Luna that these validators themselves have staked in their own validate so Orion Money has 0% which means that they did not put any Luna into the stake um, staking fund here has a 0.02%. So these guys have a 0.02% of the total number of Lunas that they are holding right now from their own money. And you see someone like Hash, they own 2.9% of the network, but 77% of this 2.9% is owned by them. So um, these guys are, I guess they are running a validator on their own for themselves to earn some passive income. And the next column we have is the commissions. So commissions represents the number of the commission that these validators will take from your staking rewards. So right now I have roughly 0.17 or 17 cents of UST. And if I were to claim my rewards right now, um, my, va my validator will take a portion of it as their commission for running this, the node or running the computers or running the servers that they are using to delegate or to support the network. And the last column is the uptime. 
So ideally, you want to pick a validator with a 99.99% or as close to 100% as possible so that they're always claiming these rewards for you and therefore giving you a good passive income. So uh, I guess most of them are pretty good. Like this guy is currently the lowest, I guess, at 97%, but most of them are at 99 So that's pretty sick. So what we're going to do now is we are going to delegate um, my Lunas into Galactic Lounge again. So we're just going to click on delegate. We're going to key in the number of Lunas that we're going to delegate. And I would suggest that if you're going to delegate some Lunas, you might want to have some Luna left just to pay transaction fees. I'm going to leave about 0.4 Luna left or yeah, 0.4 Luna just to pay off all these transaction fees. I know I'm not maximizing my gains, but I just like to have a round number. So we're going to click on submit. Um, there will be a transaction hash that comes out. Key the password. All right, so you can see that the transaction is being queued right now. And then you can see success. We have delegated five Luna to Galactic Lounge and sent multiple wallets to my multiple tokens to my wallet. All right, so something to note is that when you do a redelegation or when you delegate your tokens, your rewards will be given out to you again. So right now I have um, 0.3 KRT, some MNT, some IDT. So we are able to swap all these for multiple. We can swap all these multiple coins back into Luna. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So when we do this, it will cost me almost a dollar to swap. Um, let's see. We're going to swap. No, we're not going to swap this. We're going to swap KRT. So this will cost me 0 0.0232 Luna for this amount of KRT, which I don't think it's um, wise right now. So I'm just going to leave it here. Um, these are all the rewards that I have taken from that validator Galactic Lounge. So that's how you can start staking your Luna tokens and start earning an 8% APY. So get those juicy rewards and let's all pray for the moon. So if you're still watching now, we're going to stake UST, which will give us a good 20% APY. And 20% APY is a godlike status for staking for holding a stable coin. So even staking protocols like Hold or Not do not offer 20% they offer a 12.5% so we'll head back to the computer and we're going to start staking UST okay so back on the Terra station um, now we are going to stake uh, anchor token not anchor token but we're going to stick stake UST for a 20% APY on the anchor protocol so to do this it's also very very simple um, you don't have to do much here um, on the dashboard itself back on your Terra station wallet you're able to see your staking rewards here you're able to see your delegation like got seven luna being delegated we have just delegated five earlier in this video and then you'll notice there's another box here that says anchor earn i have deposited 223 ust so right now i have 501 ust and i'm going to add into my anchor earn and to do that we're just going to click on earn and this will bring us to a new page where we can put in the amount of ust that we want so I'm just going to put 500 and you notice here that the tax can be paid in UST and the gas is also paid in UST. So you can choose to pay in Luna if you want, not a big deal, but if I'm going to pay in UST, might as well, it's 7 cents. So we're just going to hit some. Okay, so once it's done, it's confirmed. Now we'll head to Anchor Protocol where you can see the amount that you're going to be earning um, for the stake. So right now, this is Anchor Protocol. You're able, uh, Anchor Protocol has their own token, which is for UST for one ANC. Um, this is all the stats that you might need if you want. So I'm going to go to my page, which is where the important parts are. So this is the earn page and my total deposit here is 723.479 um, UST. But in fact, I've only deposited 723 UST, so I've earned roughly 40 cents of um, UST as a staking reward for 20% in the last couple of days. So on a daily basis, we expect to get roughly 38 cents of UST and on a weekly basis, about $2.70.
So this amount is um, auto compounded for you, which is really good. Um, means you don't have to do much and it's really, really like just passive income, which is what we all want. Right, so over here, you're able to borrow. Uh, you're able to borrow UST to do other things as well. Um, if you're looking to bond your Luna, you can do that. Um, I haven't explored all these yet, but I think all these might be something that we can do in the future. I'm sticking A and C, I think that'd be pretty cool. So now we'll go back into the Terra station. And over here, we might want to add a token. We can add a token. And the token to add is called UST. So the reason to add this token is to know the amount of um, UST. This is like a receipt that we have for the amount of UST that we have staked with Anchor. So AUST stands for Anchor, the Anchor version of UST. So you will notice that the number is a little bit different. Um, it's 622 here, but on the Anchor protocol, it's 723. So AUST, the conversion between AUST and um, UST is roughly 1.2. Yeah, so it's roughly about a 1.2 um, 1.2 ratio from AUST to UST. So this is something to note. Um, so when you want to redeem your when you want to redeem your UST from the Anchor protocol, all you gotta do is to click on withdraw here. Is to click on withdraw on the Anchor protocol. You can withdraw all the amount of UST that you have, or you can just withdraw a small amount if you want. Um, but do note that there's a transaction fee here as well, which is paid in UST. So something to note is to not sell or to not um, trade this AUST away because if you do so, you're not able to redeem your UST from the Anchor protocol and your money will literally be stuck there. So this brings us to the end of the video. I hope you have found value in this video on how you can start staking Luna and UST for some juicy rewards. And if the video has helped, um, do drop a like subscribe for more of such content, turn on the notifications so that you get notified when a new video pops up, and I'll see you in the next video.